go to the book of Luke chapter 5. We shall start reading from verse 1. And it came to pass that as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God, he stood by the lake of Gennesaret, verse 2, and saw two sheep standing by the lake, but the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets, verse 3. He said, and he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon's, and prayed him that he would trust out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the ship. Verse 4, everybody. everybody and when they had done this they enclosed a great multitude of fishes and their nets break verse 7 everybody I want to speak on a message titled uncompromising followership for the ministry or to the ministry of your man of God. When you read that scripture I read now, if you don't have, if God has not given it to you, you may be wondering, how does this germane? Yesterday when I was just doing introduction on overflow, I showed you this, the scriptures from 2 Kings chapter 4. And the course of that teaching, I showed you the widow of the son of the prophet. I also showed you Elisha. And I showed you different mindsets and different attitudes. The widow had an attitude. The late son of the prophet had an attitude and Elisha was in his own world and today I want to try to do something that will link these sim cards because truth be told nothing just happened in this kingdom listen to me and listen well there is a place for confession to the promises of God. But there is also a place for war fashion to the promises of God. He said, the prophecies that have gone ahead of you, that thou mightest through it war a good warfare. I call that one war fashion. What do I mean? The Bible is speaking that Jesus, you know, came to a point in his walk that the people began to press on him. What were they pressing on him for? They were pressing on him to hear the word of God. So let me establish that nothing generates or guarantees the traffic of overflow like when men places demand on the word. It is the word of God that guarantees a wordful world. Because every time there is a pressing to get the word, there is also a release of guaranteed words in the word. The word says that they were pressing on Jesus. They were pressing on him to get the word. And the Bible says, and he stood by the lake of Gennesaret and saw two sheep standing by the lake. These two sheep were standing. And what were they standing doing? Or as a matter of fact, the sheep have been packed for the day. 
Because professionally speaking, business-wise, it is no longer time to do business. It is time for the business of the day to be concluded or to be closed. And the Bible said, but the fishermen that owned these two sheep were already gone out of them. And what were they doing? They were washing their nets. The nets happened to be their tool for business. It is like a businessman who gets to a particular time and closes his shop, closes his office. He was not closing the office because he don't want to do business again. But the time factor will not permit for business to happen that time. There is no man that will not like to make money even by 1 a.m. in the early morning. But they will rather just make the transfer. Tomorrow, come and collect your goods. Because by that time, it will be madness to open your shop in an environment like this, in an environment of our world of today. While others have closed in the market, you leave your shop open. So they were actually washing their nets because business time was over. Professionally speaking, it was seen that when you want to fish, the best time to fish was in the night. In the night season because the fishes are more coordinated and they are gathered. In fact, that's when they do their family meeting. They gather for all manner of meeting. That's where their politicians begin to campaign. That I, if you vote me to be the next governor of this fishing zone, and you know they always gather mammoth crowd. When it is night, the fishes and all their politicians come out. So fishermen now learn that the best time to fish is when we have the crowd of fish. But something happened that defied human wisdom, because the wisdom of man will always come to naught. Hear me shy of God. I don't know what you've learned professionally. I came to show you a very simple way. That if you can adhere to this word of God, overflow will not be a difficult thing to manifest. You will see it happen with ease. Because for me, grace is grace when it happens with ease. There's a realm of natural manifestation of the supernatural that is why when they look at us the bible says we are men wondered at we are men wondered at because they can't understand how we do what we do but it is easy when you know the ways of god now the bible said now these guys already concluded because it is no longer time for fishing of course the water is troubled in the daytime so of course there's nothing to expect when you go fishing there, if you cannot fish in the night and get, you cannot get in the day. But that was human wisdom. And the word of God said, when Jesus saw those two ships, he beckoned on one of them and said, he said, please, let me saddle your ship a little bit away from the water. To the, let me just so that I can teach from there. Now, I learned something. Even Christ preached in an air-conditioned environment. If you look at that very well, when you are in the midst of the water and you are speaking, the water currents and everything, the weather is cool. So, it is not wrong to be in an air-conditioned church. Are you hearing me? Number two thing I saw there is that Jesus preached with microphone. When you are in the water and you understand the wind of the water, if you are speaking to a crowd, with the wind and the stuff, when you position yourself where the, the wind will help your voice. Now, the Bible said he called on them. He said, okay, move. And they took him. And Jesus preached. The Bible said when he was done speaking, notice something. Good that in the church, sometimes a word is passing. Five will hear it and put it to use. The other ten, other persons will tell you, I don't know what is wrong with me. The same word that was preached to her profited some, but did not profit others. Why? Because they did not mix it with faith. So this, the second time Jesus spoke to this fisherman was when he was speaking to them all. So while he was talking to the people preaching, the fishermen were there. Maybe they were not the, the, the people that pressed on him, but they were eavesdropping. Does it shock you? There are people that come to church. They did not hear the word. But somebody online, as he was just flipping through, was just passing. The next thing he heard the word and he pam, he trapped the word. Amando Ribalatusaya, may you trap the word, the word that will bring about the change in your life. 
May you trap the world that will bring about the transformation, the transmogrification, the glorification, and the fullness of what God has for you this season. Somebody say amen, amen, and amen. Now follow me closely. Until they begin to call you mad for the gospel, there will be no addition of E. You cannot be made for him. If they have not looked at you and said they don't, they use your head. They never start. You, God never said they use your head. Oil you never drop for your head. The fact that there is oil in your head means that your head is being used. I can imagine the mockery that was happening to Simon. That we have all stayed all night to fish. Every body was here. We were walking all night fishing and none of us got anything. And these church people were passing and they came to you telling you, let's use your boat. Let's use your ship. Mumu. Your mumu never reach. They suddenly say, and, and, and the Bible said, without argument, he donated his ship. Whose ship will the Lord use after he see him? And the bobrine badi kuspara katili his gyahato shala. Whose sheep? Whose sheep? Whose sheep? The Bible said everyone was washing their net, but only one was called, a beckoned on one. And that guy answered, Listen, there are many people that will hear the word that you are hearing. It is not hearing that matters, it is doing what you are hearing. These two guys who were fishermen, one was there and they called one. And that guy brought out his say, You know, sometimes when you look at the scriptures, the Bible says, if everything that Jesus Christ did was written in the in books, even the books in the, the world will not be enough to contain. Do you know what that meant? Even the word itself will not be enough to contain the books that will be written by one man. So by virtue of revelation, we tap into the realm of the spirit and we know some parts that people don't know. Why is it revelation? Because it is revealed. For to you it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom. To them it is not given. It is given. Is somebody hearing me? So I can perceive like we have in today's world. Somebody must have mocked the other one for releasing his precious sheep. And maybe while the message was not going, the guy was not interested to hear what the man of God was saying. And the other said, there they feel yourself. If not, with all the frustration, we'll get, she stand here, they hear the word of God. Your mate, they go find what they go give their family. Your wife, they wait you for us. You know, go carry something, go. You know, you're picking, they light up. No food. We come here, you see there. You know, we'll go find where we we'll go hustle now. And the guy stood and was listening to the word. So the second time that fisherman Simon heard the word was while he was preaching. Preaching. And he waited. He did not say, I beg, oh God, do, do, do. You know some people, you, some laborers, you borrow their cell. Oh God, do, 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 I won't go. You, you take some cab to a place. You say, please, just wait for me. I want to do this. Oh God, there, look my time. Oh my God. Because people are so impatient with God. People are so impatient with life. Some don't understand that the foolishness of God is wiser than the wisdom of man. I pray may your eyes be opened to truth. You did not hear what I said. I say may your eyes be opened to the truth of God's word. When you read your Bible henceforth, may it open to you. Because there are two kinds of opening that must happen whenever you go to your Bible. One, as you open it, may it open. Some people open it, but the Bible did not open they were reading about Jesus and he said to them, why they finished it? He said, Jesus now opened this. He said, this day is this word revealed. So what he just said is that what you have been opening today just open to you. Make the word open to you. Yeah. And the Bible said that why they were busy, why they were busy, the guy was listening. And I said, what was it? when he was done speaking, when he was done teaching, he now said to him again, he said, now, nah, Oga, Oga, come. Lunch. It is time to lunch. So why you are going through the world now? Some of you don't know what is happening to you now. 
if the word can become flesh the word can become anything are you hearing me he said he sent forth his word and his word healed them he said and the word dwelt among us that same word can become even the billions you will need in your business that word can go and wake up the man sleeping in his house and keep him awake all the night for you to sleep and wake up <sighs> where was Mordecai when Aserus lost his sleep Mordecai was sleeping stupid a man was even awake because he had to wake up on time to come and do politics but Mordecai was sleeping the man that will bless you God knows how to wake him up hello you think we are here this is highly spiritual as we are speaking here in this meeting there are some of you that God is your proposal somebody's working already on it some of you the, the contract is being signed you are here. some of you by the time the meeting is over this morning session you will receive a test message in your phone you are looking what is visa you are looking for visa the visa you are going to be visa some of you they, they will even call you and say please can you bring in your passport this, your visa is ready because he has not called you to seek him in vain when overflow came god saw the brim being busted open for people but the bible said that this guy when he was done speaking he told him launch down into the deep listen there are blessings that are not in the surface anything you see in the surface is floating if you go to the river and see something on the surface check most of them are all these leaves leaves that are dead he said launch into the deep you know why he told him to launch into the deep when you hear the word deep calls onto deep and what is this deep hear me paul speaking can someone give me the book of hebrews chapter 6 give me hebrews chapter 6 oh thank you jesus verse 12 hebrews chapter 6 verse 12 he said that ye be not slothful you know what slothful means is it weakling lazy mele mele -ish. hello for what would they call a mele mele just the mele mele <laughs> washy washy wishy washy be not slothful but what followers of what okay who what who through faith and what patience inherit the promises so when that guy was donating his sheep he looked as if he was full the other guy that was slothful was looking at him but when he said now launch who eventually employed others who eventually employed others because the bible said when they when he too he said he said we have toiled all night the realm of toiling is the realm of absence of the word when you hear men of god say men of god who know what they are doing who know they are not and say i have never suffered in my life it means you say why are you proud oh boy it's not pride look when you speak your reality is not pride pride is when i when i demote myself let me shock you <laughs> if 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 a particular seat was meant for somebody and the person said i will not sit there and you say no i want to sit where people are sitting where nobody's no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm humble that is that is pride it's pride don't be deceived because that people now say hey you see this one is very humble you know he's glorying in what they are saying so actually <laughs> pride is about someone exalts me so he finds being exalted in congregating pity pitiness of foolish people look 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 and maybe that's for another class so you must understand that every time god has an agenda to move you to another level you pass some principal exams don't be deceived nothing just happens in this kingdom also notice that every man that god is blessing every man that is manifesting the inheritance of god knows something and does something 
I say, you know something or what? Know something. If God lifts you, you, hey, you looking at the God, hey, ministry explosion. If God gives you an explosion, will you still listen to instruction? Sir, with due respect to whatever you think, I will know your humility when prosperity comes. <laughs> you see, I want to know. Yeah, you are look when you are poor. Hear me, you are naturally humble. Hello. I say you are natural. What you want? That's why you need to show the part to. But when a man is in billions, and will still come and sit kneel down, that one is humble. When a man has touched money, we see create time, no matter how busy he has become, we see create time to attend meetings. Where he used to attend before, that one. That one is the type God said, behold my beloved son. He has left the level of my son. Beloved, don't enter. I pray for someone under the sound of my voice. That power that has kept you back in life, may you break free from it today. May the word of God enter your life. May the word of God enter your system. In the name of Jesus. So when he was less speaking, he said now launch. And they launch. That means that after this meeting, things go happen. Yeah. Oh boy, make I borrow this word. You go steal. Yeah. Uh, but may they not put you for right, stop you. Because that would be stupid stew. But after this week, because what is... You know what God is saying? Boy, I, I good. And he look, look, look. One day God said, I am God. And beside me, there is no one. Who oh, oh God dear me? Who oh, 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 be you? You know it. Every day you begin to complain. In the office, they get long leg, long leg. God says, Shut up! What are you saying? Me, I dare heaven and my, the earth is my footstool. Who oh, get long leg? Pass with. So when God wants to use the word, he will pick the word. You know, that's why the head is spherical. He uses them until they rake. They rake. <laughs> because the earth is his word. You are in camp meeting because there's, there's a pregnancy. Somebody is conceiving. Ah, who am I talking to? Say something is happening in me. Says something is happening in me. Some of you men, pastors, nobody has given you offering in millions. I carry oil. I activate your bank accounts. I say I carry oil. I activate your bank accounts. Some of you are in the realm of I work for every joy I have. But now I withdraw you from that level. Very soon it will begin to follow you and pursue you and pursue you and pursue you. I am talking to you. I am speaking to you. So will it be in your life. So will it be in your destiny. So shall it be. How do this happen? Can I submit to you with all due respect to whatever you know that your prophet determines your profit? Yesterday I showed you that woman. The son was serving. Instead of sonning, I didn't tell you what sonning is. You know, go not be everything. Go and meet the Holy Spirit. But when he died, how can you die? Some people were we don't die in poverty. Some of these Christians will die in poverty. If they, they if they even enter heaven, because I know some of them will they might cost. They might demonstrate in heaven if you leave them. They say, God, see with their head, they suffer, see the way they enjoy for air. 
Everywhere, good, 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 good. <laughs> Some of them have died foolishly. Just to look from wherever they died. And they now spy. They saw that their wife is now flexing. Flexing without another man. Flexing. And what was the reason she's flexing? She's flexing because she did what out of stupidity the son refused to do. Hear me. Who you fold you by the hand. When that guy had finished hustling that day for fish, he could not get even one fish he did not catch. But a man just stepped into his boat and told him, now nah, cast. Do you know why? The fishes have to now that they, 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 they enclose a multitude of fish, which is called overflow. But the truth is that the person that now spoke was the creator of the fish. The man that fish had no business in the world until the man said, Look, let the water produce after a sky. Fish came. So suddenly, so for the second time, the fish is head, the, their creator giving another. Another one said, Now me go first obey this prophecy. Hear me. There are people that have not obeyed even your old father in the village to help you. By my spoken word now, under this grace I declare, they will now begin to obey the voice of God concerning your prosperity. What is the secret? Paul said to them, be ye followers of me as dear children. Even Jesus speaking, he said, follow me. And what will happen? I will make you fishers of men. That is, that guy became a fisher. They, they were able to enclose multitude of fish, but you, I will make you fishmen. You know, when God says men, he's not talking about men. Not talking about mess. Talking about quality men. That when you stand, they will see men. They will say that's the CEO, so 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 so. That's the boy. That's this one. Is oh, say, sir. people will say it's my pleasure to meet you, sir. Yes, sir. Your village will know you came. The days of entering your village, hiding is over. Yes. But how can this happen? Followership. When we talk about followership, it simply means imitatorship. I call it copy and paste ship. Hello. Jesus said, what I see my father do, I do. Hello? Your father cannot be speaking victory, you are speaking defeat. And he said, these are men who through faith and patience, they obtained the inheritance. They obtained the promises. It is important to know that followership will cost you a lot. But part of the drill of followership is the proof of sonship. Are you hearing me? Part of the drill of followership is the proof of sonship. There are four kinds of, of platform that exposes integrity. One of them is what is called unconscious incompetence. When a man wants to start following in all sincerity, unconsciously he will, is incompetent because you are not following your father because you know. No child knows that he pulled on the mother. But that is a level of unconscious incompetence. But even with that, when the, the, the baby sees the mother, the baby would rather want to stay with the mother or the father more than you an outsider. But sometimes after, if the baby will pull. That's unconscious incompetence. It's a realm of integrity. There's another realm called conscious incompetence. What that realm is, is a realm where you have now realized that pulling on your father's body it's not good. But somehow, you see, you've not developed the skills to stop pooing and peeing on the bed. You are conscious of your incompetence. But you grew from that level to what I call the level of conscious competence. That is the stage most people stop at. You have now known what is good and you are now doing it. By virtue of work, by virtue of labor, you are now doing it. That's the level of conscious competence. You can do something, you know what is good and you do it. But beyond that, can I tell you truly in followership, until you get to the fourth level, which I want to talk about, you have not started following. 
it is called a level of unconscious competence <laughs> what is that level you can wake up and by mistake no matter what you can never speak anything bad about an authority knowingly or unknowingly no amount of mistake you don't know you don't make mistake you have so grown in the usage and in the in doing things to the point that unconsciously you are doing right they don't remind you to sow seed because you are naturally seed you are sowing seed nobody tells you have you paid your tithe have you done your offering because that one is already it's not you are not battling with it can i say to you that is a realm that every true follower should labor to enter the realm of unconscious competence when you can wake up without knowing you don't know where you're still praising and thanking god for the gift of a father your father can rebuke you flog you send you out but in your heart there's still love nothing can ever make him go wrong before you see this thing i just said now in the laws of integrity it looks very simple but if you come to level four you will see that overflow is a reality if at this level of followership does he tell you stop talking against your man of god you say hmm, true hmm, god forgive me every day i see him doing god forgive me you are still managing conscious competence because you have to bring it to your consciousness for you to realize it's bad but you must come to a point where unconsciously your entire environment God said it by Abraham. I know Abraham. I know him. Unconscious competence that he will command his house and his children all after me. God was boasting with that one. Can God boast with you? Let me say this also for some reasons. Let me say this also. That there are four things that every son, every follower should be mindful about when you are following your father number one is that in followership you must be sincere with god it must be true and sincere to god what you are doing let me ask you a question very simple the way you are serving the way you are working can we boldly say can we boldly say or can you even prove to me that if your son served you that way you'll be proud of him they call me now only my name they call only my name they call if you were to be me will you free me many times we don't bring ourselves before the mirror of truth and we make it look as if we are hated when we are corrected in all sincerity look at yourself if you were to be god and you are praying knowing yourself will you answer you number two number two very important you must be sincere with authorities you must be sincere you must be true with your authority authority and your father Ananas and sapphira saw a young man who went and sold land and brought the name of that guy is called Joseph. Many of you don't know. Saw the land. And when they saw, the, the apostles saw what he did. His loyalty brought it. That was when they, they you know, when the Bible says, and with great grace. That great grace was, was vaccinated by that situation. The Bible says, when they saw the kind of, the way they called him, son of consolation. They changed his name immediately. This must be a Barnabas. The Bible says, Ananias, Mrs. Sapphira, Ananias, and Mr. Ananias say, this is not the latest name with the trend for this ministry. I also want to answer Bana and Bas. And they went and sold their own also. But this time, when they sold it, it dawned on them that land money, no be small picking money. And he said, look, this money, big old, baby, what you go do? He said, I know what you go do. After all, may we just divide them. 50-50, go give. After all. Pastor, you know how much you sell them? <laughs> and 
and they brought the money. And you see how bad it was. Even if stealing from God did not kill them, late coming would have killed them. You are following, you they steal. I can't stand a treasurer who because you feel nobody's watching you. Every day you, you can't trust money, you collect transport fare. Now your life you they, you they reduce. God, now I've been serving this commission for faithfully for years, but you've been stealing from us. Oloshi, Oyoshi, Barawo. Some of you, when the money is counted, you know, two things that everyone must be watchful about is, you say, where a man's treasure is, there also is art to be. How do I know where your art is? By what you bring before God. So don't deceive me. We have given our heart to God. I know see him. Now your hand, I think you see your heart the way God did. The hand is a reflection of the heart. That's why when they poured oil on Jesus' feet, they said, what a waste. Can you imagine? When Jesus was feeding everybody, it was no waste. Mm. Mm. You online, you hear me? When he was feeding everybody, it was no waste. When they put you in a hotel, subsidize your hotel, this is, is no waste. But the day man of God comes, say, well, let's get him a good hotel. What a waste. This money, if we use it, can't we use this money to buy one new speaker? How many have seen, with that speaker, who, who have you spoken to? <laughs> don't let me throw bomb for your house. Because I don't invest. <laughs> you see, this guy said, this money too much. And they agreed, okay, we'll divide it into two. The man said, okay, make I go first. You see, you see, you see, God said to the shrewd, I will show myself shrewd. You know why you pray? Business don't reach. When the time comes, he said, I will blow. The thing will scatter. You are making money, but you are not being made. When you have gotten the money, you know some of them, sir, I don't know why I'm going this direction. But that is when they will not think that this 20 million naira tight is too much for pastor or too much for so come on you know they say not 10 percent they do where boys in the kingdom not big boys are, are giving all they will not carry the 20 million and not look for people to be doing charity with they will not come and give you one million and innocent pastor pastor Ibama now god this is my son as he's praying as he's praying with all his heart god they look his and say my son <laughs> i will reveal this person to you if I reveal this prayer you are praying, I will be die, die, die. Because he took 19 of the million and did give away. Can I say the way the Lord is bringing it? I've seen people who, when it is time to pray for them, no amount of money is too big to pray for it to drop in their life. But when it is time for them to respond covenantly, some money is too big to give to the man of God. We pray into billions. When it comes to the small hundreds, you cannot remember us. But you don't know what the first... Do you know that sometimes your father and Lord for some business to do, he will drop a seed without your knowing. He said, no, this is my son's business has to drop. And he will drop. But you, when the thing now drop, you become that guy, that prayer bad member. As the under Allah came, they don't see him in prayer bad again. I didn't say prayer band, prayer bad. He started driving around Asaba. What were you? Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. He now carried drum poof for, 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 for boots. You were what is she monkey? Everywhere. I said, ah, some of you, sir, I tell you, mm, I tell you, I will know whether you are truly. I will know. I will know. In that time, make God flash you more, make we know who you be. Recently, I started making a prayer. Lord, take for the hands of some and put in the hands of some. Now, let me say this. When that guy took of it, he came and dropped. Peter asked him, tell us if you sold it for so and so. He said, yes. That's what he said. See what Peter do. He just forwarded the case to Supreme Court. He said, why have you? Has Satan deceived you to lie to the Holy Ghost? You know, it's not there, now matter strong. 
if he has said he lied to man of God, you see simply, what is he saying? That the ears of your man of God is the ears of the Holy Ghost. You know, we like this thing because it doesn't sound religious. All those religious preachers like to paint toward me, I will talk my own. When we get one day, we'll know who is saying the truth. I told you, be sincere with authority. That man, God, he said, Look, why has Satan deceived you? You are not Satan. That shows you something that while Peter was preaching, this guy was still listening to somebody else. Hello. Ah, I will give you pastors after my heart who will feed you with what knowledge and understanding then the next thing that happens is when you have come to knowledge you'll be enter a realm of wisdom because as they feed you suddenly they begin to break and i said hmm, i see what do you see understanding has entered before you know you start walking in the conviction of that truth so the devil lied to him because we did not see the bible didn't show us when the devil was talking but listen, faith cometh by hearing and hearing the word of God. Fear cometh by hearing and hearing the word of the devil. So that lie showed that he was not listening. They were not actually listening. They were not actually listening. They were in the midst of the apostles where the word was being shared, but they gave their attention to the word of Satan. And that was why they were deceived. That's how suddenly you see your friends you want to catch up with your friends who told you you are catching up with them we are not on the same lane i'm in my home world i'm not competing with anybody i'm sorry if you compete with me you go run you go tire hear me who do you listen to because in followership you must be careful what you hear if you want to do this thing well without sorrow you must be careful what you hear.